this recording is going to give you a, an overview of uh, beginning to work with the Volusion website. Uh, we'll talk a bit about uh, uh, how to edit the different uh, parts of it, including uh, um, the page content, the uh, uh, specifically the products and category pages will be some of the main things we'll touch on here. So uh, here we have the dashboard where we will uh, have all of these options up top for information to be entered and then we also have the uh, view site version where we can actually edit within the site and so if you hover over this section you can see there we have that option to edit right there. And so that will allow you to edit that uh, uh, section on the home page. Um, and in fact, let me just go in and show you that real quick. If we click Edit, we come up with this uh, uh, gobbledygook <laughs> the HTML code right here. And at, at the bottom left of this HTML code, you'll have the link for Easy Editor. You click on that, and it brings up the GUI or the uh, WYSIWYG interface where we can actually uh, edit this uh, uh, visually so we can go in and see the layout and the contents of everything and we can make any adjustments we want like uh, changing domain names this is where you would update the text once you write your own text for the home page you'll come in here and uh, just highlight this and copy and paste replace over the top of it okay Uh, when you're when you're copying and pasting text into the builder, it's best to use Notepad or a similar simple text editor. Do not use Microsoft Word or or something like that because it'll it'll bring over code that'll mess up the the background code and and that will cause it to not display properly on some browsers. So always use a simple text editor, uh, something that doesn't have any formatting, uh, preferably Notepad on a Windows computer is the best way to go. Okay. And then once we do that, we make a change in here, whatever we're changing, you click this copy HTML to parent window and it brings us back here. Now one caution I'll give you, if you're going to come in here and start making changes, before you start making changes, click in here and control A on a Windows computer or on a Mac, command A, to highlight everything. And then control A on Windows or command, I'm sorry, control C or command C depending on your computer, uh, will copy all of that. Then you can paste that into a notepad document so we can open up a, a, a new document and actually paste that in there and save that. It didn't save it to like I expected it to. I did the wrong shortcut key here. But you can paste that in there and save it and that way you have a backup so if you make a mistake uh, it's, uh, it's saved and you can come back and replace it and start fresh. So always save a backup of uh, any page code before you start editing code. That is absolutely crucial when you're working on a website here. Okay. And then once you know you've made the change and it looks good in that previous uh, easy editor, you come back here, then there's a, an apply button uh, down at the bottom. You probably can't see it uh, here. It's a green down at the very bottom in the middle. It says apply. You click that and then you click OK and and boom, uh, it brings us back to show us the change, and we can see the content that we uh, that we've changed there. So that uh, that's how you edit the home page. Now, again, one of the main things I wanted to show you here in getting started, you've got to work with the categories and uh, products. All of that information, product options, categories, individual products, everything is under this inventory tab at the top in the dashboard. And so for categories first, if we wanted to go in and rename categories, add categories, delete categories, we just click on that categories section there and it brings us to this page here. And so if we want to put this bridesmaid gifts, for example, underneath the gifts by recipients, we just go until it highlights the one below it, let go of it, and boom, it moves into there. And so now it's a subcategory to this one. If we want to delete this one, teacher, for example, we just come over and click the delete icon on that one. It will ask us to verify that we want to delete it. We say yes, we want to delete it, and uh, it'll take care of that category. So now we don't have that category at all in there. We just have the ones we want. And then if we wanted to add a category, 
to this uh, uh, section here. We just come up and click Add. And so for this uh, area, for example, we want to put in a groomsman category. And here it has a section that says subcategory of, and we want it to be a subcategory of gifts by recipient. So we'll check that. Um, and uh, we'll leave the rest of that to default because it's a subcategory, so it's fine. We click Save, and that will give uh, that'll save the category. Now, oh, and I spelled it wrong. Let's fix that. So we we'll go back in and correct that spelling. Save again, and that will update that for us. Okay, so now it's saved there. Now, if we go back to Inventory and Categories and look at our list we can see here underneath that list there's our groomsmen okay and you can order these too we can move these into whatever order we want if we want to put uh, bridesmaid right up next to groomsmen oops I dropped it on top of the uh, her we don't want that we've got to see that dotted line there where it shows it in between the two that's what we want when we see that we let go and it puts it in between them so if it's hovering over one and it highlights it, it's going to go right on top of it. If it goes in between them and shows that dotted line, then it's going to go in between them. So, so in fact, let's, let's take this. We don't want a mom category. We want a parents category. So we can just edit that one. So we have this edit button over here on the right. We click that. And uh, incidentally, I just noticed there the uh, add subcategory option. I'll show you that in a moment. So here we can change this to parents. And we can just have a parents gifts and uh, save that. And it just renames that. So any products that are already under that category will now be under the category called parents. Okay. Now, if um, when you come into the category page, if you just hover over one of the categories, one of the options over to the right is add subcategory. So if we wanted to add a subcategory to that particular category, we, we can either click the add button up at the top or we can go to this add subcategory and it, it already puts it into that subcategory as we're creating it. So those both of those are there. Okay, so the next thing we need to look at is uh, moving the products around. If we have uh, um, products that need to be moved from one category to another, we'll go under that inventory link and then products, and that'll take us into uh, a list of our products. And we actually have uh, the option for an easy edit. Um, when you come in by default to, to your account, normally under the categories, heading at the top uh, of this column here for example it'll say edit and if you click on that edit then it it puts a text box with a category number uh, on every product for their category and so if I want to move the cherry finish keepsake box to uh, the category 1817 then I just simply change the the uh, number there and it and then once I save that it will automatically move that and so I can do that with all of those products there now to find out which category we want to move it to you would come into your uh, website and click on the different category links there and then look in the address bar at the top and it'll show you the number of the category so you'll know which one associates with the number and so if we want to go in and, and change where the products show what category they belong to, that again is pretty simple, quick to do. You can change uh, as many of them as you want, click save, and all of them will will be moved into that uh, new category. Okay. So uh, this uh, and this this particular video, I want to focus really on on mainly the the categories and the products here. So the last thing we're going to talk about here, and then I'll I'll do other videos on other stuff. But for this uh, for the purposes of this one, let's say we have this cherry finish keepsake box, and it has uh, the option of engraving uh, a name on it or an inscription. So for that, we have to add an option. So we can come into the product. And under the edit uh, section there, there's an options area where we can click select options. Okay. 
And once we come in here, we have the default uh, options that are given by the, the web builder, which we probably won't use. They have like cupcake flavors, truffle flavors. Well, we, you know, we'll probably either rename those or remove them entirely because they're not needed. Um, but what we can do is click on this link for add new option category. And we can call this engraving so that people can add an engraving. And we just click Save. And then underneath that uh, option, you, you click the little arrow to open that up, and it says Add New Option. And OK, and so, so there, we can come in and we can, uh, we can add that option. Now, what we need to do here, and uh, we'll just close this, is we've got to go up here to the top and then go to, to the Inventory and then Options. And uh, we actually have to go in and update that. Uh, uh, we're going to go to Option Categories from the Filter Select, Option Categories. Okay, and then we've got the engraving right here. And we click on these numbers. That's how you'll edit a lot of the content in this builder, is just clicking these numbers off to the side. So for the Option Category, the Engraving Option uh, Category, we're going to come in here. And we've got to uh, decide how do we want to display this. And what we really need here is a text box where they can just type in some text, right? Because they're going to put something in that they want as an engraving. So we just change that display type to text box. Uh, they're indicating this display order is required. Uh, you have to have a numeric value. so. Um, just put a value in there. Um, let's see, and it's telling us uh, uh, between 1 and 999,000. So we could do, uh, uh, say, option, uh, and we can call this 10. And this is just the, the way these options display. So we'll put that as number 10. Um, we can tell it to be required if it is required on the item, or we can leave that off if it's optional. Um, and then. Uh, you can look at these other options. If you just click on the question mark, it'll tell you what they're for. Um, and uh, that's probably a good one, the search refinement to have there. So, And then the main thing here is we need to offer a text box there uh, for them to enter that. And we click Save on there. All right, so now that we've created the option for engraving on this, we can come back into this uh, select options and we go into the uh, engraving drop down. Um, it should have, see, I would think it would have that uh, um, add uh, engraving, we'll, we'll call it that. Um, add engraving and uh, click apply. Oops, back there. Where are we? Click apply. Okay, and now after we save this, and then if we were to go view that uh, item, um, and I don't uh, recall where that one is actually. <laughs> um, let's see, that's uh, trying to see if we can, let's try this view live option, see if that'll, there we go. Okay, and so now we have a, a little box here where we can add the engraving. So we can type in the uh, item there, the, you know, they can type in what they want into that section, okay? so. Uh, that way they can they can uh, engrave that and then uh, um, y you uh, you actually you could put a, the limit right in there as I think about it we could go into that uh, uh, option here and we could change the uh, we could change that name to indicate see here in, in engraving. We go in and edit that, and oh, I'm not seeing that option, but when you name it, we could actually name it limit of 15 characters, okay? 
So that's how you'll do options. There are colors that are in there by default as well.